Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will talk about the module in place but a bit advanced course. So we know already how to work in module in place, we know already the tools from the module in place and now we will combine it and will do more complicated form. If you don't know anything about the module in place, please watch my previous video or check the link below this video. For those who already know how to work in or wanna know more interesting thing from the model in place. Uh, welcome and let's start. So let's go straight away to the um, architecture. Here we will find under the component we will find the model in place and let's create our first model in place. Uh, I will use a generic one so uh, as always actually let's use the generic one and let's call it one. It's simple name. Let's call it one. Okay here we are what we can do. Uh, first I will do extrusion let's use the some extrusion because we need first to create some mass form and i will make it like 3000 meters uh, millimeters so let's say and let's say okay we get the shape uh, but as i said we will combine everything now to create interesting form as you can see now we get only the cube it's not interesting we should make some uh, interesting shape how we can do that go to the create and here you will find the void shapes uh, actually, the void shapes is exactly the same, um, exactly the same tool, uh, like a solid one. This is called the solid, um, solid forms. This is solid forms. This is void forms. Uh, actually, if you create the um, solid form, you can switch off to the uh, void form. This is not a problem if you did some mistake. How to do that? Just select your form. And here you will find it solid void form. Now you can see this is solid. But if you will open this menu, you will find here the void. So you can switch uh, to the void or to the solid. This is not a big mistake. Let's go back to the create and we will use now void form. And let's create some void form for this shape. I will use the sweep. Let's use the sweep. And let's make the sweep to this corner. So, as you can see, this is a loop to the top corner. Let's say OK. And now I will go to the profile, to the sweep, and I will change the profile. As you can see, here is my working plane, right? So, I need to change the view, uh, for example, to the right side to create something on the my working plane exactly on straight view. And let's make it, for example, I will do here the some, um, some fillet. Uh, let's make it like this. As you can see, uh, half of the my um, a shape going inside to the my to the my solid form. As you understand, uh, or everything what will uh, what will be inside this uh, profile will be cut. Now you will see how it's working. So let's say okay. As you can see now, we can see our profile and let's finish our form. Let's finish it. I still can see the my uh, void form. If I will uh, click on, or if I will use the escape uh, button, you will see I get the my form. You can see it right here with the some um, with the some uh, uh, fillet form. Okay, this is not finished. We can combine more. Let's go to to create. Let's go now to the void, and I will find here. Let's say, let's say, why not? We will use the. Um, what we will use we will use yeah we will use a sweet blend so let's use the sketch path and i will change my uh style of the graphics to the warframe let's go to the top view and now i will do some extrusion uh, between from this uh, side to that one now you can see this is line let's say okay and let's create the first profile let's go to the first profile edit profile and again i will go to the right view so uh, our uh, void, our first void will be rectangular one, like this. Let's say OK. And now we will change the second profile. And let's make it the arc one, like I did before in my previous video. Let's make it arc one. Don't forget about arc one, you should close it. Let's like this. As you can see, everything OK. And let's move it exactly on the middle. Exactly on the middle side. Where is the my? Okay. Something like I say two of this line. Move it a bit on the right side. Okay. And say okay. 
So now you can see, uh, let's go to 3D. Now you can see the two uh, different shapes. And let's again, okay, let, let's say again, okay, we will finish this form. And as you can see, we get extrusion. Now you can see what's going on inside and I will change my view to the uh, hidden line. Uh, as you can see, we get extrusion from this shape. Uh, you can combine now voids uh, and um, your solid forms to get more complicated form, as you can see right now. Okay, so now we just understand how it's working. Uh, let's say finish this model. This is, will be our first model. We will finish it and we will leave it as it is. Uh, so let's create one more form uh, here near with this dead form uh, let's go again to the architecture and here under the component we will find the model in place where is our generic model generic model here okay let's say okay again okay and what we're gonna do now now i wanna actually create some reference line let's create here the reference line why we need the reference line actually reference line have the own work plane but reference line not will uh, come to the, your project like a geometry, it will be line. So you can use it like support lines. As you can see here on the right this side, I want to create my new form. But I don't have here any support for the vertical, uh, to the vertical direction. Now I have, as you can see from this line. So what I'm going to do now? Let's go to the create. Here we will find, um, let's find the revolve. And after that, I need to use the axis line but I need to create my axis line exactly vertical. So let's uh, show our work plane. You can see this is a horizontal one and we will change it by set work plane. After that, we will use the peak L plane and by tab key, you can see I can use the, uh, the working plane for the reference line. Ta-ta! So, and now we will use this work plane. Pretty simple, right? So let's create our line like this maybe. Okay, this is our supporting line. And after that, I'll go to the boundary line. I will go to the right view and I'll create some interesting shape. Let's say here will be some simple shape. Here also will be some simple shape. And let's create the spline. Yes, you can use the spline. Why not? Spline uh, have more control and more um, organic form. So uh, this looks more realistic. Uh, for like Zaha Hadid, you know. Okay, uh, I forgot one thing. I forgot to uh, connect this line and that line. Let's connect it from this side to that one. Okay, and one more thing. If I will say now okay, if I will say now finish, I will get angle 360 degrees, so it will be going around. But I want to make only half, so 180 degree. If I will say okay after that, I will get only 180 degree as you can see right now and here i get only uh, like the half you know uh, now i can create something more interesting here so what i'm gonna do now i not finish my form as you can see i will go to create and i will use now extrusion let's use extrusion and uh, for example uh, i will use now pick the line i will use this line that line that line and this one and let's connect it by trim. Don't forget about trim. We have here the spline. We cannot use the trim. You should connect it manually. Don't forget about that. If you have spline, uh, you cannot use the trim. If you don't have the spline, you can use it. Okay, we get it. So uh, let's make it 3000 meter. Okay, 3000 millimeter and say okay. We get the shape. So now it's two different shapes as you can see. We finish it. Now we get one uh, geometry as you can see we also get the volume from this geometry and we can use it uh, for creating uh, something interesting like for example our walls and your first question why we should create these forms because we have the mass forms yes you have the mass form but mass form it's more complicated as you know and actually the, you can combine you can combine mass form and generic forms um, who knows which uh, the shape you want to get on the under finish so uh, what we can do with these forms for example I have this form I can go to the wall and here you will find pick the face let's use the pick the face and let's pick the face where I want to create my form as you can see now I get the wall if you cannot see I will uh, I will hide now my form and you will see here is my wall so 
I don't think so you will create it by hand or by some um, vanilla tools. No, it's not possible. But by form you can create it. So, and as you can see, it's exactly uh, without any problems and mean any mistakes. I will go back and for example, I will use my for my uh, walls for this shape, this shape and this shape. So now I can select my uh, shape and I can hide it or delete it. And as you can see, we get a uh, shape of our building. Why not? So you can use the form to create some complicated things uh, with some simple tools. So let's say like this. Okay, uh, what we're gonna do uh, next with uh, these um, forms? Let's create one more form. This is, will be the last one for today. But uh, I think we will cover all the topics. Uh, so let's go to the back again to the uh, some uh, model in place and I will go to the um, generic model. Where is my generic model? Uh, generic model mm -hmm, here. And what I'm gonna use now, I will use now sweep and blend. Let's use the sweep and blend. Let's create the sketch path. And as e now you can see the one problem. I don't have any uh, reference line. Let's create one more reference plan because I wanna again use the uh, reference, uh, I mean the uh, path from this reference line and let's create the sketch path. Uh, let's show the my uh, working, uh, working plane, you can see it here. I'll change it by pick the plane to this one. Okay, like this. And let's make our building uh, from, let's say, from this side to maybe 20 meter. Yeah, 20 meter, why not? Uh, from this side, okay. Uh, let's say okay, now let's go to the profile one, let's create the profile one, I will create the profile one like 10 meters, so maybe mm, let's make 7 meters, it's okay. Uh, let's say okay, now the second profile I will create, let's say, mm, not like this, and I will do it like 12 meter. why not? Let's make it like that. Okay, so as you can see we get some, uh, some shape, right? Let's say okay. Let's say again, okay, we get shape, shape of our building. What we're gonna do next? Next, I wanna make um, some interesting things. For example, I will go to the top view and I wanna make some uh, triangles, uh, voids here. Let's go to the extrusion. I will use the, uh, my working plane will be now level one. Let's use the level one, as you can see. And let's make the triangle from the, um, let's say from this side like this, like this, like this. Okay, here's my triangle, okay. Uh, the triangle will be uh, height uh, like 25 meters. 25 meters, let's say okay, and let's say okay again. Okay, let's see what we get. As you can see, we get the this shape, okay. Uh, actually, it's not finished. For example, I wanna do the same symmetrical things and I wanna get the same result on the left side. How I can do that? Go to the top view and try go to the corner. Now you will see void extrusion. Select your void extrusion. After that, go to the mm, mirror from the uh, line and mirror it. And as you, as you can see, we get two different shapes from the both side. So, of course, the minus one you cannot create, for example, from this shape, you cannot create uh, like in mass form, for example, the uh, curtain system right here. But if you will finish this model, go to the architecture, you will find here the curtain system, you can select now this edge. So you cannot create right in the model, but you can do it after that. So I, as you can see, I just select uh, the, the edges like this and let's create the system. As you can see, we created the system. Um, it's only up to you which the type of the uh, form you want to use, uh, but anyway, you can get the result pretty same if you will use the mass form or you will use generic model. But the, actually, mass form is much better for you because uh, it's exactly for the creating the shape, but generic model sometimes helps you to get uh, some more interesting result. So if you will interesting this topic, uh, next time I will show you how we can combine, for example, the mass form and the um, generic model model form together to create more interesting shapes in Revit. Uh, so don't forget about of course the likes, comments, uh, ask some questions and I'll try to cover all your questions and try to explain how it's working.
Uh, for today it's finished, thank you guys for watching and see you next time. To support my channel you can go to Gumroad, check that my store, there you can find bottle of this Dynamo scripts or you can buy two story complete house or even the two story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.